what I thought, wow, it's, it's amazing. Actually, every day I come to the center, I feel this love. And it could be Valentine's every day. Just that love that we just have for each other and that is so natural to us as a human being. I mean, it's, it's amazing that through this training I expanded the capacity of love in myself and the love for, for everyone, basically. I didn't know that that was possible, that we can expand so much the love that we have. And because I always thought it can be just um, focused on one person. I will have that person in my life that I will love forever until we die and beyond maybe. And, 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 and that's it. And, and now I come to see that, wow, this love that, that I thought I can just have for one person just opens up completely to everyone and everything just by resting deeply in that love for everyone, resting deeply. And, and that's what expanded for me in, in coming to this training, that it's not limited in any way. Wow, it, it's just mind-blowing. And I, I didn't think that that was possible, that I could just love everyone no matter where they're from, what data streams they have, how old, how young, no matter what, just that just intimacy and connectiveness with everyone just naturally came about without contriving. I mean, I always wanted that. I had it like theoretically planned out, like that's how I want to, to, to be. But it was never possible in that way. I could never live it because I had all kinds of data. And that data we just call all our thoughts, emotions and sensations. Everything that comes up, we just simply call data. And I had all kinds of data about everything, basically, that just kept me to connect with everyone. I could just connect with those people that, that the data I liked, basically. And the ones that I didn't like, I, I, I kept far and I didn't allow myself to connect. And now it's just regardless, this openness and, and connectiveness and love for everyone just naturally opens up for everyone, uncontrived and ongoing so, ongoing opening, opening up. And, and that's our na natural state for everyone. The cap capability to love freely, openly, and without limits. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I just love it so much. And it's just an, such an honor to be together with you in this way. And so we can really, in the Balanced View training, we just simply get to be introduced to that love about ourselves and others with a short moment of recognizing open intelligence. So what we do is we just take a, s we stop thinking for a moment. And we all can test that out. We just stop thinking for a moment and see what remains. What is left when we stop thinking? There's something less, that present alertness. The, the world doesn't stop when we stop thinking. There's something always on, always present. And that's what we identify in a short moment. We recognize open intelligence. And, and this short moment we repeat again and again, whenever we naturally remember to do so in our daily life. So we can really explore a short moment, how to take short moment and to rely on open intelligence. We explore it in our daily life. So whenever we naturally remember to do so, we take a short moment and recognize, identify that open intelligence is always on. That we don't need to do anything with our data stream. So our data streams come up and we recognize that open intelligence is at its basis. Inseparable, like the color, is of, uh, the color blue is inseparable from the sky. Open intelligence and data are inseparable. So no matter what comes up for us, and the topic today was anger, so that's great. Because we see anger is completely inseparable from open intelligence. Completely inseparable from that love that is at the basis of everything. Now, I, I thought that is not possible. How can I feel anger and feel completely connected with that person and even feel love for that person? How can, is that ever possible? But what we see is when we don't box into the description of anger, when we just allow that to open up completely, 
we see that we can be completely connected in every circumstance, no matter what arises for us. And we see more and more that, that the rising of that energy that comes up, that we may be labeled as anger, is actually beneficial potency to be of benefit and nothing else. Our beneficial potency to love is right there in the anger, inseparable. And by allowing it to be as it is, we, it, this unleashes completely. Not only that, but we see completely skillful how we can be in every circumstance, how we can relate in that circumstance with the person that makes us angry. Instead of blaming, criticizing, or punching, or whatever it might be, we just allow it to be as it is and see how can we be of benefit, how can we be of support and empower that circumstance. And that, c that can entail a very clear and direct response. It's not like that we are passive and, and people can do all kinds of things with us. No, we can be completely clear and direct. But we see what is needed and we are not acting out of a limited description of anger. We are acting out of that openness of love, of deep caring and connectiveness with everyone. That's the basis of all our relating in every moment. And that we can trust, that we can count, count on in every short moment. We have something that we can always count on when we take a short moment, that open intelligence that always guides us into seeing what will be of most benefit to ourselves and others. Isn't that amazing that we can always press that button? How was it, that power button of open intelligence, that short moment? We always can press that. It's amazing. I just don't want to hold my finger on that button now and never let go. And you know how it sometimes, when you press a button, it just clicks in and it, you know, it's just on. <laughs> That's how it is. We are just, it's always on. At one point, the, the, the short moments become continuous, so they are clicked in that button and it's just continuous. And sometimes it might snap out again. It doesn't matter, we just press it again. <laughs> click, click it in. Isn't that amazing? So we press that power button again and again. That's our tool to really train up open intelligence and make it obvious in our daily life in a very natural and carefree way, again and again. Simply coming back to that simple instruction of pressing that button. That's the power that we all have within ourselves. And sometimes, and, and then we have that complete support structure in cases where it's, where it's maybe harder to press that button. We have the support structure of the four mainstays that always is available for us. So one is that pressing that button, taking a short moment repeated many times. Then we have the trainings, coming to trainings and to open meetings, just immersing ourselves with, with all the media and trainings that we have that elicits open intelligence very natural in our daily life. And then the trainer that just exemplifies that, that can just normalize all our data because everyone has all this data coming up and everybody learning how to take responsibility for da their data. And when we see that somebody else could, could rest with, with anger, for example, we know that it's possible for us as well. <coughs> we are all alike and we all have the same capability to take short moments. And then having the community also exemplifying everyone together, sharing that love together, sharing this life together. It's so amazing to share this complete intimacy and love just so naturally, having that love for each other and just allowing ourselves to rest as we are, not needing to change not needing other people to change. Such a relief. Such a big relief. And so we just naturally train that up together, moment by moment. And we don't need to put ourselves in any challenging situations. I mean, we can, and it's great. We can go into challenging situations. And for example, I sometimes, I never like to speak in front of people, so at one point, I, put my, I had to put myself into that challenging situation to speak and, and to rest with everything that comes up. And, and so, of course, we can push ourselves sometimes into situations where we know, wow, data will come up. But it's, it's not needed in that way that we now need to go and really 
try to rest in, in the most outrageous circumstances. <laughs> so that's not needed because data will come up that you can trust. Even if we're just alone on in, in our own house there, we will have data coming up, maybe anger, everything that will come up everywhere. So, so we, we can just allow that natural flow of all data to show up. Everything will come up at one point that we can completely trust. So that's great. So nothing needs to be done, no special circumstances. We just rest as we are where we are and we continue on from there. It's that simple and that's, it's that, in that simplicity we rest moment by moment.